Hi there folks, welcome back to Clownsland. You join me, well, you join my worker, just as we're getting through this field of oats. Uh, I did a few headlands for him, did a couple of circuits around the outside just to see if it helps them out this time, if you can actually plant this with a worker. We're going to chance it, we're going to leave him with it. And, oh, go forwards, come on. Yeah, I think he's just squaring himself up. We're going to go over to the far side and we're going to look at getting some silage out of the pit getting some TMR and things that got mixed up today but first things first I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another chicken coop well potentially add another chicken coop um, I'm going to have a little look not in that menu in this menu um, and see what I can do for chicken coops I don't know what I actually have well there's one 900 pound that's very cheap but it can only hold six chickens okay that's not much good the one we have at the minute holds 30 and that's not an awful lot as it is. Mm, Twenty thousand pounds for a for a one hundred chicken coop. Mm, wow, these are all quite expensive. Ah, so that, that's the one we actually have at the minute, and they want twenty thousand pounds for that one. That's very expensive. Chicken dealer, ten thousand pounds. That one holds a hundred. That's quite good. It's ten thousand pounds. Quite a lot of our money at the minute. That might be the only coops I have. There's a small one, but it only holds seventeen. Five hundred pounds. And it holds 26. That's that. Well, that's very good value. It, uh, yeah. and it actually could look quite good as well because it could kind of look like a little bit of an extension onto an existing chicken coop here. You know what? I might go for that one. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I might even treat myself to two of them. Uh, yeah, they look quite good. I'll turn it around. I'll have this one at a slightly different angle. And then oh, it looks like it might be floating. Or are they up? No, they're up on legs. They're up on legs. Uh, there we go. Plunk them both down there. So now, can get a few more chickens. Here we go, chickens. So what's the other? Well, actually, it doesn't matter what chickens are buying these ones because uh, I'm just going to buy buy them all. Um, so I'll just have a variety of colours. I'm not looking to breed them. Uh, oh, it's going to get quite expensive very suddenly here. Um, I'm buying 50 pounds a time, 26 of them. There we go. Capacity's reached 1600 pounds. Confirm that. Ah, one thing I didn't think on. <laughs> I don't have any feed to give them. Okay. Maybe should have thought on that one first. Because, um, of course, our barn is not ready yet. Um, chickens. Some chicken coop this one yeah no barley all right that was a mistake might have to go off and buy some chicken feed oh that's going to be expensive um yeah didn't didn't think on this one did not think this one through um there's nowhere in this one that i can go and buy wheat or anything like that and i can't well, i can't give them silage that is the only thing that i have Okay, right, so off to the shop, it's going to be for a pallet of chicken food, and this is usually expensive. Oh, no, well, I can buy wheat, wheat, but, oh, no, yeah, 1,500 for 1,000 litres, wow. Well, I'm going to have to go with it, yep, okay, that was a costly mistake. Oh, and my, my uh, trailer's full, I'm going to have to take the JCB down with the grab on it and just bring it back by itself. Okay. Right, as we know, this thing goes at a million miles per hour, so I shall see you back. Oh, no, I'll see you up at the short. At the short? At the shop? In about two seconds. Oh, after I sort out the helper, because Helper J has not just completed their task. I'm pretty sure they have not finished that field. Right, give us two minutes and sort this out.
Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill up the other chicken coop as well. Because chickens don't eat that much feed very quickly. So I'm going to split that bag. Confirm that. Split that bag amongst the two new chicken pens. So that way I've, I've got them full productivity going on here. And by the time the barley grows, these guys should still have enough food to keep them going in the meantime. Oh, come on, fill, fill it up, there we go. So I kind of gave the first pen a little bit too much, I gave them like 600 litres, but... Oh, don't drive over everything. They should both still be in pretty good shape, I think. Uh, where are we, chickens? And the thing is, this is uh, throwing up lots of things now in my uh, animals. Maybe should have just bought them all the same colour, it would have been a lot easier. So yeah, 659, 340 um, productivity, that'll come up. Um, yeah, so they're all full. Uh, there we go, productivity's now at 100. Happy day! So we should now start producing eggs pretty quickly out of that. And as we saw last time, eggs were worth an awful lot of money on this map. So that could be an absolute money spinner for there. It looks quite good, them all clucking around just in that little corner. Have we any more eggs in here? One box, that one was there last time. 143 litres, so it's nearly full. The helper seems to be getting on, uh, touch wood, a bit better at the minute. It does seem to be missing little bits here and there, but that's to be expected. I think it's more he's colliding with trees and stuff like that. But at least he's doing the vast majority of himself, so that's a big help at the minute. Certainly speeds things up anyway. If I drop this off here... Now, if last episode was an episode where I made a lot of unexpected money, this is going to be an episode where I spend a lot of unexpected money. I'm already down £8,000. And at the minute, I don't really have anything to sell as well to make anything. Um, I suppose I could actually... Hmm, thought it has just come into my head. Rather than keeping this silage and making the TMR out of it, I could sell this silage. Because I don't actually need it yet. I won't really need it until the cows get to the end of using all the grass and the hay, etc. that they have already. So what I could do... I'll just use this shovel in this bucket to um, open up the rest of that side. Just bit, hopefully. usually need something to kind of trigger it. No, that's not going to work. Oh, come on, don't get stuck. There we go. That works in real life if you do that as well. Um, let the pit open a little bit more. Hopefully I can get through this. There we go. And get out without getting stuck again. No, it's going to... doesn't like a lumpy pit. There we go. Come on. Backwards. Keep pushing. That's it. So yeah, actually what I might do... Sell this silage. Once the tractor's free again, I can pick it up using the loading wagon. Now, I'm not sure where we have to sell silage in this map. We'll have to look that up. I'm not even sure what price it is in this map. It might not be worth an awful lot of money. Sometimes silage is only worth money in the BGA, really. So, let's have a look. Let's have a price. Yeah, soybeans are still really high as well. We should have done soybeans again. No, the silage is worth 400 and it's for sale at the barn. So that's not too far away. Excellent. All right, let's quickly jump in in our helper and see how they're getting on. Oh, excellent. On the last stripe of the field. Tell you what, I might jump in there actually. Thank you very much, Mr. Helper, but that's all I need from you today. I can finish this bit off. And I don't think they've actually missed that much in the field. Let's have a quick look. So there's another strip to do up here. And I think I did notice a patch somewhere that was missed. But yeah, actually all in all, not too bad. So the helper is getting better on this field anyway, that's for sure. The first time was a complete disaster. So is this one now fully fertilized? Can't remember where we are on this one. Or does it still need... Oh, well, it's kind of fully fertilized. It's very patchy. Not sure what's going on there. 
So I will give that a run over with the fertilizer as well. And uh, I want to just make sure all those little spots are as effective as we can be. And we get as much out of it as possible. Now then, what our next crops are going to be? I don't know. I haven't really thought that far forward yet. By all means, mention down below. Say something in the comments if you uh, have a crop that you'd like to see me growing. I think at the minute we're quite... We're, by the time we harvest all those oats, the horses are going to be pretty pretty well up to speed. We've got a large field of grass where we can take hay, silage, all that kind of stuff off. And we'll get a couple of three cuts off that. We're going to have a big crop of barley. So yeah, I think I think we're in pretty good stead at the minute. So the next crop we do might be something we're selling. So it'll be a cash crop of some sort. Soybeans again, possibly, but yeah, kind of done soybeans now. So I wouldn't mind doing something a bit different again. We'll have a little look and see what's up to us. But first off, hopefully I can manage, yep, to get some of this silage lifted out of this pit. Wow, that filled up quick. Ah, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. Didn't unfold the wagon first, and um, unfortunately, once you put silage in, now you can't uh, you can't unfold it, so it looks a bit silly. Um, but we'll take this round to the barn, and at least well, I'll sell some off it. I've got forty-three thousand liters, so I can certainly sell a couple of trailers fulls. So that's what, just over half. And we'll see how we get on with this. Right, I'll see you across the barn. Okay, I'm assuming this goes off to the same cell point, and I'm assuming actually it does loose bales. I didn't think on this. It may only take, or it may take um, loose bales. Uh, oh no, no, it is accepting this stuff as well. I was thinking it might only take bales. Right, happy days, it's taking it anyway. Um, this should bring us in, was it 7,000? Slightly less, 6,000? Oh, 5,000. Not a fantastic amount of money. Um, but it's five thousand pounds that we wouldn't have had otherwise. What I will do is just unfold that trailer now, and then it won't look so silly if I can unfold it. Why won't it let me unfold? It? There we go. So I think I'll do another one of them. At least that brings us in a bit of money. Yeah, it doesn't like that big hump. There you go, I think we're full now anyway, so we can pick that back up. Yeah. Now that'll still allow us to make quite a reasonable amount of TMR, actually. And we don't need it for a few days, so... I don't feel bad about selling all of this. We'll have to mix a bit of TMR and then throw it into the silo or something. I think that one by the shed where the trailer's parked, that might hold TMR, I'm not too sure. Or the main side of itself might hold it. Oh, I've driven through this shortcut again, haven't I? Um, which isn't really a shortcut. I keep forgetting about that and uh, end up in the middle of some guy's field. Oh dear. I'll say nothing, maybe not see us. It went a lot better that way than it did never had the bales on anyway. At least the side stayed on the trailer. That's, that's definitely a good little shortcut, that though. I might look at... Um, buying that that little bit of forest there because you could probably make that forest into a proper little shortcut cut down the trees by the time you cut the trees down and sell the trees it probably would pay for that bit of land it's about seventy thousand pounds i think to buy that and you get those two fields together hmm that could be a next investment and then once you cut down the trees you have the actual land as well so yeah no, that, that that yeah that's an interesting thought I'm going to be a little way off making £70,000 again. I'm going to need a good cash crop for the next one. I'll be able to sell a bit of my wheat, or not my wheat, my barley that I planted. But, yeah, now I've got 300 chickens to feed. I can't really afford to sell that much off it, and certainly can't afford to be buying chicken feed. Not at, at £1,500 for every 1,000 litres. Definitely pretty pricey. Tell you what, that first one was a success, so I'm going to go through here again. Oh, it looks different going this way. Was this where I came out? Through these weeds? Uh, I might get lost in this forest now. Yeah, I can see a track. Oh no, it's not a track, it's a fence. Yeah, we're there. We're okay.
do need to give this tractor a bit of a wash as well. It's been doing quite a bit of field work lately, so it's not too surprising that it's dirty. I'll just jump out. How much silage then do we have left now? 18,000, so just under 17,000 litres. Um, so that would be, yeah, that, that hitch definitely needs raising. Um, tell you what, we're in a fixing mood today, so... Oh, that's not going to squeeze through there, is it, behind the baler? Let's try. Yeah, loads of room. I've got a bus through there. So, we'll go up to our workshop. Well, workshop, toolbox. See if we can adjust the hitch on this. Might make it a little bit easier to use. And whilst we're here, we'll also give the tractor a bit of a rinse down. Definitely needs a bit of a wash. Oh, we'll have to repair this as well. Oh, 25 pounds. Must have been a bit of grease. Um, so we've got wood, use second hand, full volume. So, yeah, this is the one we want. We want it up high like that. So is that not what it gave us? So 13,000 liter high. Customize that. It's for free. So did that work? Yeah, it looks better, but now is it too high? Mm -hmm. We shall soon see. It might be too high now and not actually catch the ground whenever we're driving over something. There we go, we can see the blue of the Ford again. So what happens this time? No, it's certainly hitched up a whole lot nicer anyway. Have a drop in the pickup. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely looking a lot better this time. So now I'm wondering what I should do about the whole TMR thing. Um, could do without spending the expense at the minute, just until I get a little bit more established. I'd rather you know, put the money into another field, something like that, rather than having to buy a TMR mixer. And then oh, it's not letting me unfold it again. There we go. Uh, rather than having to buy a TMR mixer and then not actually need the feed for a few days because the, the cows are all pretty good. Unless I buy a few more cows as well, I could invest money in that. But then they'll just leave the grass and the hay and stuff that I have there if I give them TMR at all. Hmm, quandary, quandary. I'll tell you what. No, I, I was going to say I'll put it in the mixer wagon, but I can't do that because I need that to pick up the grass. I can't leave it in the pit. <laughs> because I need to empty the pit in order to put new grass in into it whenever I cut it for more silage. Oh, wow, well, yeah, this is going to get complicated. I might have to take it out and just leave it out at the side and then use it quickly. So, yeah, it looks like that might well have to get sold. And then the fresh silage will be used to make TMR with. Wow, yeah. It's a complicated business, this farming. Very complicated. But at the minute, we're kind of... We don't have that much to do. We've got some money in the bank. We've got a lot of chickens on the go. Happy days. Cluck, cluck. And how is your horses and things getting on? I'm pretty sure they're all up to speed. So, horses. Horses, Buck, Edgar and Liberty. And Buck's the new ones. We just bought him last episode, I think it was. Uh, straw. Well, we could go around and give them some more straw. We have some hay up there. So I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll take the JCB up. And we'll go give the horses a visit and sort them out up there. So we'll park the tractor up here, somewhere that I will completely forget where I left it next time I'm looking for it. If I jump out, am I able to lift this? Yep, I can. And, oh, it has, it's sat in it. Right, okay, this might work. I'll tilt that back. And then mess them up with the horses, I'll probably drop it into the greenhouses as well. Especially if I have both of these. Right, it's been a few days now since I actually fed these people down here. These people, these horses. Um, but I think... This, oh, tripping over stuff. I think it was fairly well obvious what went where. And so if I remember right, I've got a lot of loose straw here, yeah. And I should just be able to put that in through the gate. Not actually sure how much is there, how much they'll need. I'll tell you what, I'll lift it all up anyway. I've got plenty of room in the bucket. That way it's all in a nice neat pile. 
whenever I do come back again. Looks like there might be another little bit just on the other side. So alright, I'll sort that out later. So this first one should be the straw trigger. Go up there and squeeze through that gate. And let's see how we get on. Yep, uh, I remember it doing that last time. It lets it pile up there. That's okay. Quick scoop. So we definitely have plenty of straw left anyway. That's even with the extra horse in there at the minute. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of straw once we get this uh, oat and barley harvest done as well. It's going to generate a lot of straw. Now, quickly throw the bill grab on yeah. the bag lifter. The what I use is a bill grab. Grab one of these bills of hay, and we'll get that put in here as well. Just a bit too heavy to be moving them by hand. Oh, I didn't drop that off in the best place. I got that wheelbarrow in the way, just like magic. So three bales left over as well, it's quite good. This should do me pretty well up here for quite a little while. So I think... Oh, that took a lot of hay. Took a lot more hay than I was expecting. Um, I take back what I just said about these lasting a while. It looks like there's some loose hay in there as well. Try and bring the broom in and see if I can clean that up. So hopefully this won't take all of this bale. No. How much of that one did it take? But it did take half of it still. So these are hungry horses. Maybe that means in the next cut I do off that field should actually be a, a harvest of hay rather than silage. Especially considering I've got a bit of silage and I don't really have an awful lot to do with it at the minute. on the top whilst them here. No, nope, maybe they don't need any. There we go. Tiny little bit of water. Drop it off and switch back to the bucket. We'll go and see how our greenhouses are doing. I do really like this little JCB. It is fantastic. I just wished it went a bit quicker. And the bucket in the front it really suits it. I love the wear on the bucket as well. It just It just looks good. It looks really realistic. So, can we actually, let's see if we can tip this out. Will they come out if I try to? Nope. The forks, no. They look pretty well jammed in there, so that's it's good. They're not going to fall out as I drive down the road. There we are. So, what have we got left here at the minute? Manure now at 50%. And water, yeah, loads of water left, that's okay. I'm not worried about that in a minute then. Let me just drop this bucket off somewhere out of the way. Yeah, not an awful lot of space up here. It's somewhere there will do nicely. And yeah, it's getting on towards half six now, so the day is getting on here. It's late in the evening. The sun will be setting soon. But I think we've had a successful day all round in this one. In one game day, we've managed to grow the farm an awful lot. And that's spinning a lot. Let's just pit them down and try that one again. Get a little bit closer with them. Okay. There we go, that's a bit more stable. So the one downside of this bag lifter is though you can't tell how much you actually have because um, there's no indication it doesn't actually think it's lifting anything uh, yeah I thought I didn't think we had a two full pallets there obviously the game didn't um, 
didn't recognise that whenever you save the game and exit or something, it mustn't um must always reset it back to two full height pallets. Lovely, there we go, we're not quite 50-50 on them. But it's not too bad. Well, as we're getting on quite late in the day now as well, what I'll do is I'll have a quick look in the map, or have a look at the fields, see if anything's germinated yet, if anything's ready for fertilising. If not, we'll probably call it quits for the in-game day. Go to bed for a few hours. Um, hopefully the greenhouses will bring us in something overnight. And then we'll get out and fertilise first thing in the morning, if we can't fertilise now. Um, so I need to see this one, not that one, growing. Nope, they're still both on the very first stage yet, so there's no point in worrying about fertilizer. So, early night for us, quarter to seven. Get in time for Emmerdale. So, I'll go up again, say seven o'clock in the morning. That seems like a good wake up time. Hopefully the weather remains good today. So, 3,200 pounds now for a full day on the greenhouse is excellent. So our loan interest is still there, animal upkeep's going up, so we're incurring bills of what's that, about fifteen, sixteen hundred pounds a day? But yeah, we're now making, what's that, about eighteen hundred pounds left then, so really good that we're actually making profit overnight. Um, everything should still be okay, so the first job of this day is going to be going and fertilising my fields. I'm um, just thinking, I'll give it a little quick, oh, 106 pounds, that was... An unexpectedly expensive little service, actually. I was thinking it was going to be like 20 pounds. Um, so some narrow tires. Make sure nothing else has changed. Still have the chipped one. Still have everything there. Yep, yeah, that looks good. And zero pounds. Wonderful. Back up and get my fertilizer on. And... I don't think... I think I'm actually out of fertilizer now. Oh... I'm going to have to go and get this filled up. And my trailer is completely full of other stuff. I haven't thought this one through. But anyway folks, as I say, I think this will do us for today. I'll just motor on up and down here, do the last bit of this fertilizing. Thanks as ever for watching. We do really appreciate it. Um, leave your comments below. Do those normal YouTube things, like, share, subscribe, all that good kind of stuff. If you do like the videos, the best thing you can do for me is leave me a like. I always like to hear from people as well, so by all means leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd want me to do in the future. As I say, the next cash, or the next crop is going to be a cash crop for us. So if you have anything in mind that you want to see me doing, by all means, I can do any kind of crop that you want, really. So just mention it down below. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'll finish this job off. And hopefully we'll be back again in the future for a grass harvest, get some hay in the go, and then we'll get these two big fields done. See you all later. Bye now.